Number eight, what is the deceleration of the rocket sled if it comes to rest in 1.1 seconds from a speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour? Such a deceleration caused one test subject to black out and have temporary blindness. Sounds like fun. So here's a picture. This, uh, this uh, dot here will represent the rocket ship. It's initially traveling at a velocity of 1,000 kil uh, kilometers per hour. Eventually then, over a certain distance, whatever this is, it will come to rest, right? So its final velocity here will be zero meters per second. And the time uh, it takes to go from this velocity to this velocity is 1.1 seconds. So that sounds all fine and dandy. So um, we re I realize one thing before I even start thinking about um, you know, formulas, I realize that this is a time in seconds. The time in the velocity here is in hours. So I don't like that. I gotta have consistent units. So uh, let me just convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second. All right, so to do that, let's get rid of the kilometers first. So they go on the bottom, meters on the top. There's a thousand meters in one kilometer. So they go bye-bye. Next. So I'm gonna leave meters alone. Now I'm gonna focus on my hours. So in order to get rid of hours, I have to actually have to put them in the numerator, right? Because they're in the denominator currently. And I know the relationship between hours and minutes. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna write 60 minutes in one hour. So the hours cancel. I have minutes now, but remember I wanna get rid of minutes, I want seconds. So I put minutes in the numerator so that they cancel and there's 60 seconds in a minute. And that goes away. Okay, so now all we gotta do is just calculate. So we'll take 1,000 multiply it by 1,000, and then divide it by 3,600, because that's 60 times 60. So we get, and we'll do, um, yeah, we'll do three significant figures, all right? So we'll do 278, 278 meters per second. Okay, so this is the value I'm gonna use now in my calculations. So now we gotta think, do we know a formula, all right, that relates the initial velocity, time, final velocity, and I am looking for my acceleration. Sure, equation number one over here at the top, right? So it says that the final velocity should equal the initial velocity plus the acceleration multiplied by time, okay? So the final velocity is zero, the initial velocity is, the initial velocity is 278, right? That's in meters per second. My acceleration I'm trying to find, and the time was 1.1 seconds. Okay, so I guess, Right, we can do either one. Why don't we subtract the 278 on over? Subtract 278. So now we get negative 278 is equal to 1.1a, right? Just disregard the s here. That's just the time unit. I put it in, but I didn't mean to, all right? Divide by 1.1 on both sides. So now my acceleration will be 278 divided by 1.1. And it is negative, right? So this is gonna be negative 252. So this is negative two, uh, 253, if I consider rounding. 253 meters per second squared. Now that should make sense, it should be negative, right, because I assumed that the um, rocket was traveling to the right, therefore if it's slowing down, there must be an acceleration pointing to the left, and that would imply a negative sign here. All right guys, thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully this helped. Please remember to subscribe, and I thank you very much.